We're going to start off by securing the wheelchair using the front straps. The front straps are a webbing with buckle and tongue and a clip on the bottom. When you put the clip into the track, the most important thing is you don't touch the red plunger. You put the clip into the track by tipping it slightly forward, pushing down, the plunger will lift up. Go forward, you'll hear it click, you know that's located. We need to put the clip in the other side. The most important put in the other side is to make sure the clip is opposite in the track. So we put the clip into the track again, pushing down, hearing it click, we know it's in. We then have to secure the strap onto the wheelchair, onto what we call the main frame. The main frame is where the horizontal and vertical bar will meet. The strap will be undone, come from inside to out, tongue back into the buckle. Do the same for the other side, again, inside to out, around, back into the buckle. The front straps are non-adjustable, so we have to put tension on. We come to the rear of the wheelchair, we release the brakes, pull the wheelchair back towards you, then put the brakes back on. So we're now going to secure the rear of the wheelchair. The way the fast system works is you're going to press this red lever down, that will release the webbing. As soon as you let the red lever go, it will retract, self-retract. Start off by putting the same clip as we've used before into the track, hearing it click, and attaching onto the wheelchair at a 45 degree angle. Same for the inertia side. Press the red lever down, attach to the main frame of the wheelchair. To tighten this up, you take the handles, turn towards the wheelchair, as far as you can, two or three clicks is usually enough. That is the wheelchair secured. Putting the passenger harness on. There are split rail inertia reels. There are black and blue, so they're colour coded for easy use. Black is the lap, blue is the diagonal. Taking hold of the lap strap, bring it around the person. You'll either come down through the gap in the armrest or the gap underneath the armrest. Peg it through to the other side. Put the tongue into the stalk, lower into the lap. Come to the blue side, take all the blue reel out, squeeze the top of the clunk clip together which will prevent it going back into the reel, take hold of the reel, bring it over the shoulder, underneath the armrest and put the tongue into the buckle. Taking control of the webbing, release the clunk clip, bring it down onto the shoulder and allow it to go back in. For comfort, take hold of the webbing, pinch and lift about an inch, squeeze the clunk clip back on. To remove the harness, we take the blue buckle from the lap, bring it underneath over the person, release the clunk clip, and gently allow the webbing to go back into the reel. For the lap strap, we're going to do the lap from the stalk, bring it around, again back into the reel. To remove the fast system, take hold of the winding handle, slightly turn it towards the passenger, press the red button down, pull the web, webbing out of the reel, remove your carabiner, let it retract in, remove Clip from the rail, same for the other side, turn slightly to release the tension, press the lever, remove the carabiner, and free. For the front straps, undo the tongue from the buckle, remove the clip, put the tongue back into the buckle. Other options we have at the front is you can have the fast instead of the static front straps with the buckle and tongue, or you can have the fast with the carabiner. All of our passenger harnesses come with a floating tongue. This has been used in conjunction with the cart rail system and a third point fixing. You place that into the track, undo the tongue from the buckle, bring the floating tongue up and attach it to the buckle. The buckle is adjustable so that the tongue should be roughly approximately two inches off the shoulder and just behind the ear of the person. This gives you the same type of fixings you have in your car.